The World of Champions Super Sports brings to you the MTN Fans Super League. And we're coming to you live from the Shinda Stadium in Mufurira. It is 20th place, mighty Mufurira Wonders, Pakali Tente, Kakishena Masumbo, up against uh, second place, Ava Yellow, powerful power dynamos. We can confirm it's a hot day for the game of football. Maximum temperature, 29 degrees centigrade. And of course, wind speed, 9 kilometers per hour and 27% uh, in terms of humidity. The Yellow Faithfuls have certainly come through here at this uh, Shinda Stadium, making a trip from uh, another Copper Belt town of Kitwe. But for the local fans, having seen their team record a 2 0 win in their last game away in Lusaka on Wednesday against High Flying in Kwanzi, they are certainly feeling that uh, it is another match that they would hope to continue in terms of building, in terms of getting results. So. The referee, Wisdom Chair, we're leading the two teams. On the left on your screen, in all yellow, Ava Yellow, they call themselves, is uh, powerful power dynamos. On the right is mighty Mufrida Wanderers, Abena Milambo, Pakali Tente, Kakishe Namasumbo, they call themselves. So, we went to see whether the nets will suddenly be tight or they will shake. But for these mighty Mufrida Wanderers festivals, they'll be very happy to see what uh, the team will be able to bring through this afternoon. So green and white, the traditional colors of uh, the Wanderers fans, a team that has produced a lot of great players to go on to represent this, the nation at the highest level. The same can be said about this uh, side, Power Dynamos, who also have uh, had a proper representation also in terms of continental club football. So the two teams are just meeting for the final time, but we can confirm this is the first 11 that uh, coach Wilson Wanda has presented for us. Crispin Chisowa yet against stars, but look out up front for Gili Manziva, Benson Chengu and Raim Osmanu the Ghanaian. In the midfield will be Ilunga Lenga, Joseph Kanema in that setup. So, Osman and Chengu lead the attack for this one side. Manziva, Simtenda, Chisopo as the captain and Kanema in the midfield. Lenga, Munene, Mulenga, Museba behind covering and providing cover for Chisowa in goal. Power Dynamos have retained the first 11 that's played against uh, Concola Blades last week when they won 5 new. Alan Chiwe yet against stats. On the right is Govenda Sima. On the left, Billy Mutale. But look, ra rather Lawrence Chungu. But look up front, Kennedy Mdenda, the longest serving player in this Power Dynamo side, starts yet again. But there's a rare start yet again for Jimmy Berek in love, who had spent a lot of time on the treatment bench, but now back in the first 11. So Tembo Fuayo, the current top scorer in the Zambian Super League, leading the attack with Nlovu and Mutale and. Uh, the likes of uh, Rose Chungu in defense. So Wisdom Chewe on Tuesday was in charge of uh, Ricotivo Beira as they take on Aouila of Sudan in the Total Cup Champions League in Mozambique. He's the man in charge of the business, assisted by Chiwoyu Sinyangwe. But for this man, Wilson Cam Waters Mwale, suddenly it's been a good start thus far for the former Zanaco Football Club assistant coach. And uh, suddenly there's so much positivity and uh, the fans will be hoping to get a result yet again this afternoon. Raim Osman, he was the top scorer last year for this uh, Mufurina Wanderers side, the Ghanaian. And uh, this season yet to record his name on the score sheet. But Mr. Dan Kawe is the coach for Powerful Power Dynamos. And of course, uh, during the interaction I had with him, he said losing out to Mufurina Wanderers is out of his vocabulary. But for this man, Fuayo Tembo, he's currently the top scorer in the MTN Fans Super League in this 27 campaign. He has so far scored five goals. Of course, Fuayo has also played for Itwao du Sahel in Tunisia. But today, the likes of Victor Kashitu and Bidi Mutari have, have to be at their best in terms of concentration because power dynamos have always struggled when they come up against Mufurida Wanderers at any venue. Speaking of which, in terms of the statistics, because they don't lie, in the last meeting between these two sides uh, that was played, uh, of course, that last game that was played on October 23, power dynamos versus Wanderers at the Arthur Davis Stadium. Wanderers were awarded a 3 new scoreline after their game was abandoned with Wanderers leading one year at halftime due to crowd trouble. But earlier on, on the round 12 game that was played on May 21 last year, Mufurina Wanderers beat Power Dynamos at this venue by one goal to new. Mike Kativa, who has since moved on to Green Buffaloes, scored the only goal in that match in the 18th minute. So, Chewe Wisdom in charge of the business, the FIFA referee, Kawe Best match official, gets us underway here live on the World of Champions. We come to you from the Shinda Stadium, and it is Mufurina Wanderers versus Power Dynamos. Wanderers shooting from the left to the right on your screen, and I'm joined by my co commentator and expert analyst, Makando Mukando. It's a big game for both sides, but in the meantime, it's Wanderers on the attack. Clear indi indication that they want to get any, uh, something early. Chance now, and offside flag goes down. This one count from Ben Chengo. 
Well, interesting that uh, how Nigerian player Wanderers, known to make the Nate shake, have done so in just the 10th. The uh, first minute, but no, God disallowed nonetheless. Very interesting game of soccer, and both these teams coming off victories, respectively. And well, we do know that Mighty Fleer Wanderers seem to get the better overpowered animals in the recent fixtures. Gonna be very interesting. So, look here is, uh, from uh, the goalkeeper Alan Chiwe. But again, they'll start to, at the back here. Uh, Power Dynamos uh, hoping to start with Govinda Simwala. He's uh, missing out some opening uh, fixtures for Power Dynamos. His place taken up. Uh, that right back position by Alan Kamwanga Jr. He's on the substitute bench. He's a former Wanderers player last season. Was on the books of Wanderers before making the switch this season to Wanderers. Or rather to Power Dynamos. At the back now, they'll start with Ilunga Lenga. Intervention at the back, good from Kashitu. Back pass from Simola to his goalkeeper, Alan Chiwe. So, suddenly, maybe Wanderers would want to make the... Declaration of intent very clear under one minute. We saw that goal disallowed by Benson Chengo. Although by the time Chengo was kicking the ball, the offside flag from first assistant Chiwoyu Sinyangu had already gone up. Now, reaction from Power Dynamos. Hoping to get some uh, space with uh, Juju Stumbeko. So, corner we have this afternoon, and it's the first one for this match, and of course, going. Power Dynamo as well. So concentration time for Crispin Chisowa in Go as uh, the Go custodian for this uh, Mufrira Wanderers side. Because on a day when Zambia under 20 has just lost one new against uh, Costa Rica in the last group action. But Zambia already qualified in the group stages of uh, the mistake. And uh, this will go for a corner. So suddenly going for goal. That decisive intervention also from Chisowa. Just making sure that the goal goes out for a, a corner. Well, the question of uh Concentration levels early in the game, but there. The ball! Mighty Flair Wonders. Of course, Lenga almost conceding the first goal, but anyway, good to see Chris Pinch, so I was alert to that particular challenge. But uh, a question of concentration. Tembo now, Fuayo with the corner. Chisoa comes out, decisive touch. Still, Stumbeko hope to keep this one in play. It does very well. Watching to get some support because the two many green shirts at the back. Whips in one, chance for power. Billy Mutali had committed himself, but in the meantime, it is in Chimunya Munene. Who almost got injured there, but uh, nothing to worry the mighty Fetifus because he was able to continue with the play. So, action swinging very fast from one end to another, like a pendulum. Long clearance by the goalkeeper, Crispin Chisoa. He's going to go out for a throw-in. So, overall, since uh, 2005, Mufuria Wanderers and Power Dynamos have met six times. And uh, Wanderers has won three of those games, drawing one, losing two, scoring eight goals, allowing five. Thereby, Wanderers have got a healthier goal difference, plus three. But in terms of the home record, since 2005, Mufria Wanderers has hosted Power Dynamos three times. Wanderers has won two of those games, drawing nothing, losing one, scoring three goals, allowing two, plus a plus one goal difference for the mighty side. In the middle of the park, good turning coming through from uh, Victor Kashitu. But good cover equally at the back uh, from... Uh, Boyd Mulenga, former of uh, Lusaka Tigers, brought down Chengo. Player will continue. Chewe not interested. Mutenda, captain, this afternoon. Wants to get some support. He gets his the form of Lawrence Chungu. Chungu a little bit slow in that uh, power build. A quick start from him now. Kennedy Mutenda, disc man, hoping to cut inside. Wants to get some support. Chungo is calling for the ball, though he looked like he was in an offside position there by the decision by the power captain to switch play. Remember, you can talk to us hashtag SSBaller. Let's keep the conversation going through. Want to hear what you have to say about this game and also generally the matches that have been played this afternoon, even as Wanderers takes that shot. I think early warning shots there from Mighty Fleer Wanderers and it does show you that they are going to try and attack this power dynamos side and they will not sit back. So interesting interchange of play there. At least you can see the numbers going in attack. There was four players there from Mighty actually supplementing the attack of Osmano. So Mighty not going to sit back and let Power Dynamos dictate play today. Oh, too much for Mudenda. In the meantime, that uh, goal kick that came through from uh, Alan Chiwe. Looks like it's going to be one of those fast-paced matches this afternoon, Marco. Yes, and of course, I mean, almost all the te both teams have lined out very quick midfielders and attackers. So it does show you that it's going to be a very pacing. They will play the ball around but it's going to be a lot of pace and attack in this particular game. At the back, uh, Kashitu dropping down in that midfield uh, partnership. Lali Warrior, his place pass 
He's got an opportunity to make amends. And uh, foul committed by the captain, Mala Machisopa, on uh, Larry Warrior. Well, brilliant piece of skill there by Larry Warrior. And Chisopa Malama just killing the motion of attack there off Howard Dynamos by taking out Wally and conceding a foul. Well, quite early, uh, doubt the ref really needed to have a talk with Chisopa Malama, but he should watch his step because he will be the enforcer general in that mighty midfield. And so he should watch the way he goes into those particular challenges. Well, Chengo, the starting lineup for Wanderers, the former Zesco United striker. In the meantime, uh, they hope to build from behind. Good cover from Billy Mutale. Lenga. Chengo beat into that aerial tussle by Victor Kashitu. Turning by Larry to the disc man, Kennedy Mdenda. Chungu. Lawrence. His older brother plays for Nkana, McDuff Chungu. Njovu, Beleki. So power dominates in terms of possession, but uh, Govenda Simwala took his eyes off the ball and thereby took advantage. Simwala Govenda, the son of uh, the late Nkana and Zanga national soccer team coach uh, Moses Simwala. Well, of course, one of those few moments when Power Dynamos will actually catch themselves off by passing the ball a little too much. A bit of scrappy play there at the battle for the midfield. Mala Machisopa for Wanderers. One of the surviving members from the team that uh, were in the doldrums and won promotion. And uh, then under the tutelage of uh, Manfred Chaminga, seriously, they did uh, announce their entry to the Super League with a bang, also participating in the Barclays Cup. Throw in for Wanderers. Boyd Mulenga. Second game is starting this season since moving for from Mkwazi, uh, from Musaka Tigers rather to Mufurina Wanderers. The push there, I thought the referee would blow for a foul. But uh, this one going against uh, Power Dynamos. Well, case of a high boot there. And, uh, Power Dynamos conceding a free kick in the middle and uh, Sawa actually being the victim there. Looks like the midfield battles. Ongoing between Absolutely. Two teams. Chengu has a touch. I was hoping to have that pass uh, get to Rahim Osmanu. Of course, Chengu has also played uh, from Freer Blackpool. Last season was on the books of uh, Blackpool. But uh, just joined the sister club. Remember, Blackpool were the team that uh, made history in terms of Zambian football. Finishing the whole season without winning a match. Of course, they did record some draws. Good play now by Wanderers. Advantage. And uh, this one will be stopped because there was a. Joseph Kanem was a judge of uh, handled the ball there. Well, Joseph Kanem there going for that particular ball. But yes, Bright Manamawa hitting that ball against his hand. And it was a case of a handball, but well, not that, not that much into it because Kanem was in motion and couldn't really place his hands anywhere else. Now, oh. start behind again, uh, Wanderers. Osman who beat that aero tasso and uh, he's the collected uh, at the, bar, the back. Uh, by White Mwanama Chisopa. Good dummy. Was hoping to get Kanema to chess. And uh, Chungu does safety first just to place that one out. Uh, Chungu was in 2015 voted the most consistent uh, player at the Power Dynamos Awards. So a lot of pressure coming through from the likes of Joseph Kanema. I reckon it will be a busy day at the office for the likes of Lawrence Chungu. Throwing in for Wanderers. They do not seem to have those players that can make those long throwings, the likes of Malan Gondwe, Joseph Musonda, but maybe, yes, they have, in fact, Boyd Mulenga. My bad, I, know, I do know that Boyd is one of those uh, that is able to be able to present those long throwings. Osmanu's touch is decisive, very important. Chiwe comes out, and uh, foul by Benson Chengo on uh, Alan Chiwe. Well, long throw in there. And, uh, well, Benson Chengo, it looked like he had every right to go for that, but, well, his boot going a little too high, and Alan Chiwe commanding his area quite decently there and uh, trying to claim that particular ball and a foul committed in the process. And uh, you did hear the shout, but it looked like the Power Dynamo's defender did not want to yield in case uh, Alan Chiwe didn't make it in time to that particular ball. You support uh, that it was a foul? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, oh, but but it then does, again, it uh, looked like uh, not very convincing, uh, uh, you know, in terms of movement that uh, she had made in terms of making corner to the ball. But anyhow, we do know that goalkeeper is always uh, very protected many a times, especially in such one-on-one -on -one situations. Lovu, foul committed, and uh, Lovu 
course, uh, Boyd Mleng and uh, Jimmy Love know each other very well. They come from an area called Charleston in Osaka, somewhere near the KK International Airport. So they know each other, having played for junior teams in and around that area. And in this case, we're talking of Jimmy Love Beleki. It's going to be quite an interesting duel between those two. So Boyd Mulenga, former of Chinama Wanderers, defunct a team that was sponsored by the Chinama Hospital in Osaka. Used to play their football. A shot, not a bad one. Not a bad effort, but equally equal to the task was uh, Alan Chiwe. Well, there, Rahim Osmanu taking advantage to tee off that particular ball for that attempt by Changala Simutenga. And, well, brilliantly taken shot, a little more power in it, and maybe Alan Chiwe could have had a little more problems with that particular one. But good take from the goalkeeper as well there, Alan Chiwe. Well, you may be shocked and think that probably Wanderers are also in the top half of the table, but on the second page of the MTN France Super League, if you look at the way they're playing their football, impressive thus far, you reckon? Yes, and I mean, you did rightfully refer to their coach, Wilson Wale. His nickname is Calm Waters, and we do know Calm Waters do run quite deep, so it is, it's quite, it's, it's beginning to show that he's, kind of, he's having quite a positive impact on this particular Mighty Inferior Wonders side, because these are the same players that went a couple of games unbeaten and were conceding goals for fun, you would say, I mean, conceding four here at home, conceding six away, so the turnaround is quite evident and I mean all this I think we can give due credit to the coaching staff. Yeah, of course deputized by Justin Chinama, part of uh, Buffalo's Green Eagles as well. It was a, a player for Ndeke Rangers during his playing days, Chinama. Throwing, Nari who, who was hoping to get this one very quickly but uh, right behind him was uh, Rollins Chungu as the left back for Power Dynamos. Chungu blocked by Malamachi Sopa. So impressive play so far from Wanderers at this stage. Uh, and clearly they look like uh, the side that would want to dominate uh, this half. But you see Power, what is the pretenders of just taking things is now Munene under pressure. What was he trying to do, surely? And uh, he presents a corner and Chimunya Munene. Well, from so you can see he's offering his apologies there. Suddenly not under any pressure, Munene. No, 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 from nothing actually. There was no pressure whatsoever there. And, uh, well, now the pressure is on Mighty as they are going to need to defend the corner. Now oh, they take a shot one and uh, this one uh, goes uh, for a goal kick. So for Ayotembo, second season in the domestic league, his last professional team was with Astra in Romania, but now he's back and they're uh, playing for this uh, power dynamo side. Well, the Astra UL stinked for a while. Didn't really end very well, but it's good to see that he is back to playing professionally. There was quite uh, some controversy over the manner in which he left. But, uh, well, good to see that he's back to his ah, usual scoring Wally, form. Larry. This looks promising. Badly done by Wally Shuri, but Munene couldn't stop that one. It comes through just now for Power Dynamos, and it hits the cross. Brother, it hits the upright. And uh, Wanderers survived there, surely. What looked not like a dangerous move, almost cutting out and caught, catching out uh, one run on that occasion, Marco. Well, yes, and I mean, you'd have thought Ilunga Linga there could have actually touched that ball a little more convincingly, but it managed to slip by, and the cross was beautifully placed for Fire Tembo there to put in that header. Almost looked like he was offside, but well, seemed he timed his run to perfection there. Oh, it's actually and, uh, a corner, even. That's a decisive touch from Crispin Chisoa, just keeping it out. So one run survived. For how long they'll do that? What does it offside for you? Clear one. It was way ahead, and in fact, it was Jimmy Lovu. And right call by this uh, second assistant. Speaking of which, he's coming from uh, a brother's affair in terms of much officiating this year. Gary Kapwembe is only 18. His older brother, Collins Kapwembe, is also a, an assistant match official. And last week, it was interesting to have the first assistant, second assistant, Collins and Gary being brothers. Well, it shows you the issue of rival of siblings actually in football is uh, something that we enjoy and love to bring to you. So. Yeah, good, uh, good to see. Hope to see one of them in the middle of the park someday. Oh, many a times, like you said, Marco, we've always seen, uh, we've always seen uh, football players, for instance, coach, father, son, you know, cousin, and the like. But now we're talking of brothers, and uh, Gary being the youngest. So it's the second time, second time, third time, in fact, I've seen him in action this 2017 campaign. He second assistant this afternoon. So, slowly getting to 15 minutes of this match, scoreless between Wanderers and uh, Power Dynamos here at the Shinda Stadium. Chiwe comes out, decisive save, and uh, does pick up the ball very easily in that uh, occasion. Quick throw from him, Glovo, cutting his side. 
Poco Master. Might be done by Julius Stumbeko. Now, Julie Manziba for Wanderers. They can build from here the greens and white. Kanema gets the better of Lawrence Chungu. He did say it's going to be an interesting battle on this position, but uh, not an exquisite uh, cross coming through from uh, Kanema. But good cover, the bank coming through from White Manambam by the former Napsa Stars uh, defender. So Kanema already scored one goal in this 2017 campaign, having scored and uh, been on the score sheet when uh, Wanderers beat in quasi Chunyu. For many, it was a shocking result, looking at uh, the position that uh, Wanderers was occupying. But uh, don't take them for granted, because certainly they look a different side since the arrival of the likes of uh, Chinama and Mwale. Corner in the meantime, Lenga, the purpose, and Osmano should have kept it hard and low. Well, but not a bad effort from the Ghanaian. Well, beautifully fighted corner there to the far post there by Ilunga Lenga. And Rahim Osmanu rising for that particular one. Put off just a bit by Billy Mutale, you would think. But, I mean, you could have at least put that particular ball on talent. But I think the ball takes a slight touch of Billy Mutale's head, and that throws Rahim Osmanu's header just a little off. But it does show you there are still warning signs from this mighty player one side. Start at the back again with Ilunga Lenga. Going off uh, against the uh, Wanderers after that uh, foul on uh, Julius Juju Stumbeko. Uh, the chess is on now. Hoping to keep this one in play, but too much for Stumbeko. I wonder how many nicknames he has. Eh? Goes by Coco Master as well sometimes. Yeah, Coco Master, Julius Juju, which is a shortcut of Julius. He does possess some dancing skills as well. Mm. Yeah. Mutenda, which is controlled by Jimmy Lovo, but it's uh, when Museva was quick to react to the situation and not giving chance uh, for that uh, movement to continue for this uh, Power Dynamo side. So Lawrence Chung with the throw in for Power Dynamos takes it back to White Manamba by his defense pair. Start. Good cover again coming through from Ilunga Lenga. Four oh, control is good by Rahim Osman. Gets some space. Manages to hold on to possession. This is good play by Wanderers. Spreading it to the right. Kanema. He's got Lawrence Chungu to negotiate with. Osmanu deep into the thick forest of uh, power dynamos. They managed to keep it with Rahim Osmanu and uh, good dummy also coming through as Maziwa shot from that position and it goes wide. Very disappointing from Mala Matisopa. Oh, it neither was the icing on the cake. Good build up by Wanderers in the meantime. Well, when Rahim Osmanu saw that particular dummy, it looked like, well, the boy had just gone out of touch. The cross came from the right there and, uh, well, kept in play. And Rahim Osmanu, beautiful dummy there. His the ball was played into the path of Malamach Sopa. Tried to side foot it into the goal of Alan Chiwe, but I think he would have actually gone for a better actual shot on goal. Maybe that would have troubled the goalie, but his side foot there, Malamach Sopa. Attack continues. And if there's one player that Power must be very careful with, and he, he likes to create enough space for himself, and so far he's done that, is uh, Joseph Kanema. He's always going to the byline and uh, unnoticed. Finds himself in very decent positions and thereby collecting the bits and pieces always unmarked. So the likes of uh, Lawrence Chungu have to up their game. In the meantime, it's Boyd Mulenga with the throw in, the former Young Arrows defender. Kanema, Wanderers advantage. Well, Joseph Kanema and Lawrence Chungu, they are going up for an aerial tussle, but Lawrence Chungu, they are cited for using his elbow to actually keep Kanema from getting to that particular ball and well it's going to be a mighty player under free kick and Kanema been one of the three players for mighty player under to have actually scored for them this particular season the other two Julie Manziva and Rahim Osman so free kick uh, for Wanderers and uh, it's a good position for them to get something from here in the recent season it have said uh, Taonga Wembe but uh, Taonga is on loan now at uh, Zanako Football Club a lot of power behind that ball from Ilunga Lenga but Stu Wanderers with the throw in. Manziva almost uh, quickly shifted duties from being a, an attacking player.
But Boyd Mlenga, the former Nampundo Football Club defender with a long throw in, it's anticipated in the box. And uh, go kick for Power Janamos. In the meantime, uh, Raim Osman looks injured. That's on go. Quickly. Warm up. Oh, quickly. Warm up. He's a serviceman, and uh, they deal with discipline and listening to instructions. Uh, and already you can hear from what Justin Chinama is saying. Katongo, quickly, warm up. Well, commands, they are coming from Justin Chinama. And of course, Joseph Katongo is one of those attackers who might even play a Wanderers, might look to at some point in the game. And being asked there to break a sweat as Osmano had taken to the ground. Now, oh, good cover from Weni Musaba. And again, uh, Kanema. This is going to be an interesting battle I want to watch for the latter part of this afternoon. Chungu is beaten just now for Wanderers into the box. And uh, good cover combined effort with White uh, Monambamba. But you can see clearly, Wanderers always want to build. This man may be feeling positive that something might just give uh, Wilson Mwale because they always want to exploit where Lawrence Chungu is. Well, and of course the cover is not really coming for Lawrence Chungu. At the moment, he does look exposed because in those one-on-ones against Joseph Kanema, it does look like Kanema is getting the better of him. So Mighty might want to exploit that before cover, before Power Dynamos actually get their cover right and block that particular route. But as it now, it looks like Kanema is getting the better of Chungu on almost every possession. Well, and it is a fact that you've said it. But what is also interesting is that... Uh, Recent meetings between Mufria Wanderers and Power Dynamos two, since 2005, we've always seen uh, at least one team coming out victorious. And maybe this afternoon will just be another story. Back pass! And uh, this one, at uh, the quick intervention of uh, Alan Chiwe, receiving that pass from uh, Lawrence Chungu. And it will always be Kanema just chasing in and around that area. Chengo to Kanema. Chance now to shoot from there, and uh, this one takes a blockade, and it's corner, Wanderers. Well, another spell of pressure from Mighty Flea Wanderers there. It does show they have some purpose, playing with heart in front of their home crowd here. And, well, there, Joseph Kanema, again, looking to be that thorn in the flesh of Power Dynamos' defense. And today, if they don't account for him well, he might be one of those that will make the net shake, and, well, like they say, Pakalitente. Six corners, and uh, Power leading in that area. Scoreless, though, is the most important statistic with 22 minutes played, Ilunga Lenga with the corner, just uh, consulting uh, first assistant, Chiwoyu Sinyang, where the ball should be placed. Lenga decides to change options this time. That first touch, very disappointing from Wanderers, and uh, badly done by Changala Simutenda. Usually known for having quite a good first touch in that particular case. I think he cost Mighty Player Wanderers a good piece of offense there. Oh, Simtendo, obviously a bit disappointing with that uh, pass. Tembo, Kwayo, to the left. Chungu now to whip in one. He does that exactly as if we listen to commentary. Again, he's presented with another chance to probably build from behind his... Simuala. Good cover from Boyd Mulenga. Ah, Wanderers can build with Simutenda. Chengo. Chengo's pass there was very disappointed. It was a hospital pass, so to speak. It was uh, hoping to get a return from uh, Changala Simtenda. So you can see busy on the technical area now is uh, Danica, where he knows that uh, his side in the last few minutes have been forced to somewhat to play in their own half as they have to do a lot of defending as Wanderers suddenly are making inroads in their setup. Chungu. Well, it's interesting that traditionally Power Dynamos are known to play possessive football and this particular tie, they've actually opted for quite a number of Route 1 options for them and over the top, where's Mighty, are the ones who are seemingly playing the beautiful football today. So now Power maybe have a chance with Mdenda, laid nicely by Ndovu, but too small was uh, Ladibor, you can see Love just expressing his disappointment. She saw to the left. Julie Manziva was a crowd favorite last year at the Kana Stadium. Manziva going through a cluster of players. Good play. Osmanu. Very disappointing, Osmanu. But maybe this time around, when Museva and 
That's a very bad work of it all. Wayne Musewa, one of those players who has been on the fringes of the under-20 setup, actually, was called up uh, before the team was actually picked to go to South Korea, but, well, did not make it in. But one of those youthful players who are coming through the squad, and, uh, of course, for my team player, Andres, a uh, breath of fresh air, you would say, in defense for them. Oh, maybe you might be looking forward to the Chan qualifier that Zambia will play against the members of Mozambique and also the 2019 under 23 tournament that Zambia is hosting as a qualification tournament for the Olympics. Yes, of course, and I'm sure his form should look up like that. And, and I mean, at some point you had referred to how the backline for Mighty Player Wanderers has changed because, of course, last season we did see Alan Kamwanga, Tawanga Wembia in the middle was Warren Kunda. And now, I mean, you have three new components in that particular defense. Mochale. So, hoofing the ball out of that area, Mudenda drops down to help out. Does well, the disc man. But no support. It's Wanderers at this stage. Again, the do a bad job of it when you thought that they would come up with uh, something more organized, Wanderers. Overplaying the ball just a little too much. Tembo. One player that uh, power I'm missing in this team is uh, Kenneth Mubanga Kampamba. I met him just uh, prior to this match started. And uh, he seems to be recovering very well. So he says uh, from that uh, groin injury, wish him all the very best, Mubanga. Well, another one missing could be Benson Sakala. He is recovering from a flu and has thus missed their last two games. And of course, the middle of the park. Well, of course, but they've got an option because Sakala is on the substance bench. But in the case of uh, Kampamba, not uh, part of the traveling party from Kitwe. Uh, to this for this afternoon's fixture against uh, Wanderers. So Alan Chiwe, the former Zanako Football Club uh, goalkeeper, to organise his former human war, Manambamba, also part of the war, and so is uh, the likes of uh, Ladi Warrior. But it's Ilunga Lenga. He's a natural left-footed player, the DRC-born uh, defender. Lenga now for Wanderers. Very disappointing. Nothing to worry, Alan Chiu. And Lenga surely should have done a good job there. Just been uh, edged to do much better from Chimunya Munene. Well, there, I think even his run up to the particular ball didn't look convincing. And uh, there, well, a side, a side of disappointment there on coach Wilson Mwale. But I think even just the run up and the way he positioned his body as he was taking that particular free kick, Ilonga, didn't look like it was going to trouble the goalkeeper. So far, commits the foul for Wanderers. So one player down. Let's see. This will be interesting. Raimo Osman goes down. And uh, it will be interesting to see what could have been done. But Roderick Ngandu, off your screens. Roderick Ngandu, off your screens, is uh, having a mean conversation with the Chiwoyu. But this is what happened. Well, Billy Mutale there does have the ball and an elbow there from Billy Mutale to the chin of Raheem Osmano. I hope that was spotted by the officials. Uh, because previously there, Malama Machisopa did go in for that particular ball with, of course, Larry Walia. And, well, Raheem Osmano there, that was an elbow. And with that kind of contact, well, you couldn't blame the big Ghanaian for taking to the ground and rolling around like that. Well, but what is also interesting is that uh, Roderick Nandu seems to have spotted that incident. You hear what Eric Chinyemba, the goalkeeper coach, is saying. And too, like I said, it seems Roderick Kawe had spotted that incident. And so Wisdom Chewe now is going to go into a mini discussion with uh, Roderick Nando's fourth official and also Chiwoyu. Clearly, Nando, as a fourth official, spotted that one. Well, it'll be interesting to see what referee Wisdom Chewe will actually do. Uh, and, well, he is calling Billy Mutale to the side. And Wow. R right call by the referee in my opinion. And suddenly, right call. It's a red card. Definitely Very right card. decision. And Wisdom Chewa has got it right. You can see Billy Mutale is not complaining. It's a right call. And so Power will have to play the rest of this match down to 10. Well done, Wisdom. Well, 
again there. Billy Mutale with the ball. Raheem Osmano trying to delay him slightly. And Billy Mutale does swing the elbow and it makes contact with Raheem Osmano. So Osmano not trying to milk that particular moment by any case. That was off the ball, unnecessary from Billy Mutale. And now Power Dynamos will need to play the remaining 60 minutes of this particular game with 10 men. Well, we do know that referees are food, are they? But uh, credit to the match officials, right core there. And they're certainly clear one. And of course, you've got it on the World of Champions Super Sport in the splendor of high definition. Well, just to show you how important the fourth official is in some of these particular calls. And I'm sure him and the consultation with Chio actually did lead to that particular decision by referee. So into the last 15 minutes here in the first half, and uh, Wanderers have got a numerical advantage. But again, you do know that a team that plays one man less, there's always a lot of concentration. I can tell you last week, there was a game we broadcast on the World of Champions. Buffaloes were playing against Napsa Stars. Buffaloes had Jaffet, uh, uh, Jasper Masialetti given a second book of offense. They were down to 10, and I can tell you they held their own, and it was scoreless at the end of the game. Of course, one might argue because it was a Lusaka derby or a derby, it's always difficult. But here we're talking of concentration levels coming to the fore. In the meantime, Power Dynamos have got a free kick. Of course, uh, Fuayo Tembo and uh, Boyd Mulenga know each other very well. Mulenga has also played for the former or the defunct Kaunda Square Raiders, a team that used to campaign in the Busaka Youth Football Association. Then remember they used to play games in the they used to play a tournament called the Super Jewish Cup. That was uh, then sponsored by the Great North Import and Export Company. Aye, exciting times then. But in the meantime, back to action. White Monamamba with a free kick for power dynamos maybe to take the lead this afternoon one, one, but takes one and a good save by Chisoa follow up and uh, this one couldn't go in good play by Chisoa but an equally taken good free kick from uh, White Mwanamamba we'll take it back now with Alan Chiwe good ball control and good turning equally by Ladiwe, but too much in the meantime, the Wanderers players could not give him chance to start turning. Wayne Museva now for Wanderers to the right. Manziba has changed roles from the left to the right. Well, brilliant free kick there, of course, by White Manamamba. And Fire Tembo coming onto that particular rebound. If you'd have wanted that ball to fall at anybody's feet, again, White Manamamba there, testing, of course, Christian Chisoa. And it was actually Larry Wade who took that particular free kick. And good reflexes there from the ref from the goalkeeper, and a brilliant save there. But Fire Tembo first to that particular ball, and if he had wanted that ball to fall anybody's feet, it would have actually been the feet of Fire Tembo. But fluffing that particular shot, Fire Tembo there, and clearance by Boyd Money. Oh, what a good free kick taken by Lali Warrior. But this man has certainly been the busy of the two goalkeepers, and uh, Lali Warrior, who is playing his third season at uh, Power. This man, uh, Cam Waters, the former Nakambala Leopards uh, coach, and he's known many a times to help struggling teams either survive or win promotion. Napsa Stars is a case in point. Yes, of course. I mean, he did spend some time at Napsa Stars. Well, he did part at some point, but even during his spell there, he, you did see him bring a decent flair of play to Napsa Stars. And, they did play some beautiful football, and like you said, some teams that have struggled, he has been able to bring them back, and he did spend some time in Mazabuka as well. Chiwe, one of the two Chiwe brothers in the MTN Fans Super League, his uh, younger brother, Ronat, on the books of uh, Kana Football Club. For your tempo is down, but play will continue. Raheem Osmanu. So Kanema, Wanderers have made an important uh, switch. Kanema on the left, now taking up the left uh, position. But uh, for Tembo, the 28-year-old uh, Zambian international and current top scorer in the Super League is down and needs a bit of treatment. Well, he did go up for that aerial challenge there with Chimunya Munene. And I think Munene got the back of Fire Tembo's head. And, uh, well, understandably, Fire Tembo might need some medical attention to the back of his head. But it's interesting how Fire Tembo has reinvented himself and is playing more central now in that attacking formation for Power Dynamos. So Dan Kawe just consulting his uh, goalkeeper coach there, Yusuf Lamu, the former National Assembly goalkeeper. 
It's having a word there. Interesting. Uh, let's see, 10 minutes before half time. We'll see, wait to see what changes. Maybe Pao will have to make a point that uh, red card that was given to Billy Mutai, straight red. So the Wanderers fans feeling that uh, the good days are probably back in this uh, town of Mufurida. That in the recent past has had to endure results of uh, huge scorelines in terms of letting the ball behind the back of the net. For instance, six new Wanderers were beaten by Zanaku at the National Hero Stadium in Lusaka. But maybe good times are back uh, for this team. Speaking of which, it's interesting. Wanderers are on position 20 on the 20 team block table. So change is going to be made. And uh, Benson Sakala, defensive midfielder, being introduced for Julius Tumbeko. And of course, uh, Benson Sakala, 22 years of age, coming in uh, for an attacking yeah. player. Give an indication that they'd want to yeah. seal some loopholes that would have probably been uh, noticed in the middle of the park uh, for Power Dynamos. Well, I think it's more a case of trying to get on somebody who can actually play central defense alongside White Manamaba because with that red card to Billy Mutali, Power Dynamos needed to have another central defender. Touch is good now by Glovo. Walia, Larry, Tembo, Fuayo versus Chimunya Munene, Tembo. Delayed uh, and in the process, uh, he has allowed three players to take him on. At some point, you would have probably thought that maybe you would have cut inside because there's some chance with uh, Lovo was calling for the ball there. But Tembo has, Tembo has got so much trickery when he's got the ball thrown in by Chungu. Tembo again. Two players on him, trying to stick to him like glue. Hoping to bring it across, he does that, but no one to pick it up in terms of the yellow representation of power dynamos. Osmanu. Chisopa. Good turning from the captain for Wanderers. Find space in Boyd Mulenga. To the right, looking for Manziba. But good cover coming through from uh, Lawrence Chungu. 25 year old uh, Power Dynamo's left back. So Manziwa announced his entry into the Super League in Zambia two seasons ago when he, alongside Walter Wadia, Diego Panene, joined uh, Forest Rangers. Of course, uh, later on, the three players moved on to Kana Football Club. Of course, Manziwa and Walter still at uh, Power Dynamo's. Mulenga Boyd with the throwing. Long one into the box. Vision there. Chance Chengo was not anticipating that one. Benson Sakala getting one of his first touches on the ball there. It'll be interesting to see how quickly he settles down. And uh, well, considering he's trying to shake off that particular flu, so I hope he did put in quite a decent warm up. Otherwise, of course, the coaches will hope that these next eight, these next eight minutes will actually be beneficial to him as he gets back into the frame of mind to play a particular, a particularly intense game, this one, against Mighty Fair Wonders. So to the last seven minutes here, and the uh, score is between Wanderers and uh, Dynamos. Tembo, Fuayo, lays it square. Denda. Denda also not finding space on the left. Uh, Frank has since moved on to the right. Govenda Simuala. Lovu. Manamamba just going straight in there hard. Fahim Osmano had dropped down to help out in defending. Well, it's always good to have your attackers come in, supplement in, uh, in defense especially. And considering that Mighty now are doing a lot of build-up play, and well, just when I say that, they opt for some route one pass there. And, uh, well, interesting, Bright Manama over there, dealing with that particular attack from Mighty with quite some conviction. But it looks like it's going to be an interesting spell of possession for Mighty Flair Wanderers as they look to pile up pressure and Coming up is actually going to be another Boyd Mulenga long throw into that 18 yard box of Power Dynamos. 
long one from Mulenga. Touch is good from Manziva. Tembo Fuayo. Everyone has to do extra shift now. The likes of Tembo Fuayo have to drop down. Love couldn't make connection with that one. Chisopa Malama. Osmanu. Manziva. Good tackle coming through from uh, White Monambamba. Manziva goes down rather easily there. Didn't look very crude, so to speak, now. Power have got a chance. Stumbe goes scoring for it. Tembo. And uh, it is Raimo Osmanu who comes to defend. Well, you would wow. have thought the team with the 10 players would have players putting in an extra shift as of course Benson Chongo there has caught offside. The players with the 10 men were expected to put in an extra shift but it's looking like the 11 men of Mighty are the ones who are asking all their players to put in a lot more and Raheem Osmano helping out the defense very well. Looks like, well, Julian Manziva there. That tackle didn't look very crude but looks to have caught him on the knee there. Again, that challenge there with Bright Manamamba coming through on it, and it was his trailing leg that took out the knee of Julie Manziva, and uh, that looked quite painful there. Is of course the trailing leg of Bright Manamamba got to the knee of Julie Manziva and receiving some attention. Looks like it's not too bad. He might be able to proceed with play. Oh, now I've shot them. Move involved, more attack. That's in Bemba, simply put. Power obviously have got a numerical disadvantage for the red card to that was given to, you know, um, Bidi Mutale. So, one more players, maybe, in your interpretation of what the assistant well, coach has said. Of course, Coach Justin Chinyamba giving those instructions to Wayne Museva. So, that of course tells you that he wants his fullbacks to be fully involved in this particular, in any attacking motion that Mighty Player Wonders will actually put together. Yes, they are short, and why not take advantage? When even when they were 11 on 11, Mighty Player Wanderers were looking to have the slight upper hand over Power Dynamo. So now that they are short, could be the best time to capitalize for the Player Wanderers. Good cover, or rather good control from uh, Larry Wadia. Because this is a swift left foot, Wadia. When himself rising so high, an extension from Chisopa. Again, they will come second time with Govenda Simwala. Bualia. Denda. The former Lusaka Celtic player. Just trying to boss around uh, Chimunya Munene. Rahim Osman dropping down. They can build from here. Manzi was still out receiving treatment. Looks like he'll be coming back into the last three minutes of this first half here. given chance there. Chess is on now. Manziva hoping to catch inside the box. Chungu and uh, he goes down. What's a decision? This incident must have happened outside the box. So Chungu and Manziva getting the better of Lawrence Chungu there. Well, Julie Manziva there running and into the path of Lawrence Chungu. And I'm sure hoping for some contact. And yes, the contact was outside the box, but Julie Manziva delaying his, his, his fall. And there, Julie Manziva, Lawrence Chungu, trying to hold back from pulling back Julie Manziva, but clips his heel. And uh, that's what brings Julie Manziva to the floor. And just right there is where the contact comes in from Lawrence Chungu. As he's putting his foot down, he clips the heel of Julie Manziva, just outside the box, very close. Power Dynamos would have been defending a penalty. Dynamo! What is interesting is that uh, last year, Uson Mwale was an assistant coach at Zanako, and the overall boss of the technical team was Danka, when he was director, you know, in terms of uh, the football setup at Zanako Football Club. So, interesting times. In the meantime, it is uh, Joseph Kanema with a free kick for Wanderers. Lenga takes a deflection, but he done, and it came to a stronger left. Lenga surely should have done better there. Seba just takes it out. So, slowly counting down to the end of uh, the first half here at the Shinde Stadium. You can see Seba is telling uh, Kanema rather that you should have just whipped it inside there. Or, in fact, in this case, it should have been Lenga who should have done a better job. Chungu. The throwing for Power Dynamos, the former All Police Blue Stars player. 
two minutes of additional time we're going to play here at the Shinda Stadium. The first half that has seen very few incidents in terms of uh, team medics being called in. Except for one for Rahim Osman, of course, and uh, the other one that involved uh, Julie Manziva. Walia. Mudenda with an extension. Out for a throw in. So Forest Rangers new, Napsa Stars won. Austin Banda, the goal scorer for Napsa Stars. Green Buffaloes lead City of Lusaka one new at the Independence Stadium. Scholars at Konkola Stadium in Chidamomwe between Blades and Lusaka Dynamos. And so is at Nakambala Stadium, Nakambala new and Warriors new. And Ryu Nakonde and Inkana Scholars at the new stadium in Nakonde. So it looks like the first half here will end in this fashion. there in that tussle with the uh, wire tembo the mlenga coming out west in that situation but uh, good enough is able to continue with play offside against the uh, wire tembo mlenga the two teams have resigned to end in this first half uh, in this uh, fashion. Of course, the last time we were presented with such a scoreline uh, in terms of a draw, although well, it was a scoring draw, was uh, in the round six game on April 25 in 2015 when Power Dynamos drew 1 0 against Wanderers. Jimmy Love scored uh, in the 72nd minute for Power Dynamos, cancelling out a Moses Nyambego in the fourth minute. So, Chewe brings to the end business in the first half here. As, uh, the likes of Joseph Kanema have had some fair share of possession and making inroads. But for this man, Cam Waters, Wilson, he'll be feeling confident. Manziba had a chance when he was brought down at the box. For your tempo, I mean, a quiet game. Of course, we've seen one or two flashes from the Zambian International. But it's been one half uh, that will have a lot of talking points as the two teams head to the break, to the dressing room for the pep talk. Of course, Govenda Simuala as the Wanderers players just uh, thanking the heavens here. So scholars at halftime between Wanderers and Power Dynamos. Join us shortly for the second half.
It's halftime at the Shinde Stadium in Mufalira Town as uh, the two sides head into the dressing room scoreless in the first of 45 minutes of this uh, particular encounter. An exciting first of 45 minutes has been providing a fair share of uh, chances. Mighty Mufalira Wanderers very impressive in front of the home crowd and for Power Dynamos they've done what they needed to do to cut the supply and keep those purses and spaces being closed in between as the Mighty Mufalira Wanderers side are kept on pushing the agenda in search of the opening goal here at the Shinde Stadium, but as the case it is, the scholars, but Power Dynamos are a man down. Now, Marco joins me all the way from a commentary position this afternoon. Marco, first of 45 minutes, certainly you could say that it has lived up to expectations. Yes, it has, and I mean, we did say it was going to offer us quite a lot of talking points and a lot of fireworks, and of course, like you said, down to one man. That's one of the incidences that we did not foresee for this particular half, but the level of play has been quite interesting from both sides. Level of play, very interesting of the two sides, which of them seemed as though they were more determined to get that goal. Well, it actually looked more like Mighty Fluya Wanderers. In the opening stages, they looked to exert themselves a lot more. Power Dynamos did have a couple of phases of play when they actually showed what they can do. But it looks like Mighty Fluya Wanderers are playing more aggressively as the home team and stamping their authority on this particular, on this particular Let's match. Let's kick off our talking points and looking at what uh, Mighty Fluya Wanderers could have done better, you know, to change the complexion of the scoreboard as it is. It's new, new. But let's talk about Simu Tenders, though. This is the man that has had a fair share of chances in the first 45 minutes of this particular game. And they have created the chances. Well, yes, Changala Simu Tenders there feeding off a layoff from Rahim Osmanu. And it was a power dynamo's breakdown there. Defense failing to clear their lines. But I think he did make some decent contact on that particular ball. It was a shot, but it was just within range of the goalkeeper, Alan Chiwe. So making the save comfortably there. But it did show you that early on, Mighty Fluya Wanderers were out to actually attack the goal of Power Dynamo. So Changala Simutenda there could have had better luck, but it was within range of the goalkeeper. So good save from the goalie. Decent shot. He could have done a little better. In terms of Power Dynamo, the Clo closing up the spaces. Yes, of course. And I mean, I think resultant from that particular failed attempt to clear that particular header, which fell to the feet of Rahim Osmanu. So for Power Dynamos, was a bit of nerves maybe. They looked like they'd settled down very early, but maybe just at that particular time, caught off just a bit. Now, Chisora was caught to duty equally on the half on the other end because Power Dynamos equally did have, and they did push the issue in terms of looking for that uh, particular goal. Uh, Chisora seems to be improving as the league progresses. Yes, and I mean, that that was a very brilliant save there from the head of Fire Tempo. Fire Tempo just delaying his run nicely to get into the 18-yard box. And when was, then that cross was floated in, he picked out his spot and put his header there. But Crispin Chisoa, brilliant save there by the mighty Flair Wanderers goalkeeper. As, of course, Fire trying to look for a, for a spot there in the far corner. But Crispin Chisoa stood up and waited for Fire to actually make contact to see where he was going to dive and make that particular save. So brilliant save from Crispin Chisoa and kept his team in this particular match. Very clever on the part of Fire Tembo, but you could see that Chisoa had to stretch just to parry that one off the goal. But let's talk about what could be the biggest talking point in the first 45 minutes of this particular encounter, an off-the-ball incident. And yet again, a referee gets it spot on. Yes, and of course, it's the, uh, I, I might just say, the referees of this particular match. So, of course, we do have lead referee, Wisdom Chewe, but his assistants and the fourth official, Mr. Roderick Ngandu, actually intervening in this particular instance. They did, they did see the referee, Wisdom, Wisdom Chewe, come to the sideline to consult from Chioe and Roderick Ngandu on what happened particularly. There's Billy Mutale elbowed Rahim Osmanu clearly in the face there. It was, I mean, it wasn't, it was a foul and it was going to be possession for Power Dynamos. But Billy Mutale picks up the ball and decides to elbow Rahim Osmani. The biggest question, how much of an impact card. is that likely going to have on the game? Well, of course, uh, whatever. The, the, the few minutes after he was red carded, did it show? Well, yes, it did. And of course, whatever, whatever, whatever plan that Power Dynamos had for this particular game has actually been thrown out. Because now, like you said, they had to make that substitution. Julius Tumbeko being sacrificed for Benson Sakala, who has started into defense to, part, to partner White Manamamba. So whatever attack they did have, I'm sure they are going to alternate, alter, alter that. That, however, did not you know, deter Power Dynamos from creating the spaces, creating the chances as they were advancing in front of goal. Let's talk about, though, the free kick that seemed to cause a little bit of some turbulence, for lack of a better word, in the mighty Wanderers, you know, goal mouth. Well, of course, there, Larry Wadia, that was quite a, quite a brief, brilliant free kick on the right side of the mighty Inflia Wanderers 18-yard box. And save initially from Chris Pinchisol. And first to the ball, Quickest to react was Fire Tembo. And you would love Fire Tembo to be the one to react to that particular ball. So, brilliant save there from Christian Chisoa. Parries the ball. But then into the path of Fire Tembo. And Fire Tembo actually slapped that particular chance. He's their top scorer, Power Dynamos. You'd have expected him to actually make the net shake in that particular instance. That was a goal for me. 
but he missed it. So the save for Christian Chitawa coming in handy and keeping Mighty at zero. But look, let's look at the brilliance here. First of all, he misses the ball, but the return, he, the instincts of a good striker, cross the ball into the field of play, right into the goal mouth, cause a lot of confusion. Maybe you might get something. Well, yes, of course, maybe some credit for him keeping the attack going because the second chance, he did actually manage to try to try and plot it back into play. It was cleared by the mighty Inflia Wanda's defense, but I think he should have taken the first chance that he had, which was, well, for me, I would have thought to be a sitter. Mm. So let's have a look at uh, the match stats in the first of 45 minutes of this particular encounter as we summarize it for you. 49 to 51 percent in terms of ball possession close to call yet again. Yes, it is. And I mean, it shows you that, yes, Power Dynamos have a bit of an edge over Mighty on the possession. So that's the, the match stats for you in the first 45 minutes. But let's look at the options available. Uh, quickly, let's talk about Power Dynamos because they had to quickly create a damage control following that particular red card. And Julius Tumbeko was the casualty in this case in order, uh, rather the sacrifice, in order to really improve their chances in terms of improving defensively. Yes, and of course, so for them, I mean, Jibin Jovo and Pio Tembo will do a lot of running. And we do know both those players are coming back into form. So I doubt they will last out. So at least the good thing is for them, they have Luka Lungu, they have Lyson Sekawanga and Martin Piri in attack to come and supplement because most likely they will go for a lone striker. And so those two will tire out at some point. For the likes of Mighty Mufleda Wanderers, they need to be looking for a goal. They're playing at home, they're coming off a win. They should certainly need to create chances and get the goal. Take advantage of Power's uh, man list. Well, of course, if Benson Chengo doesn't do anything, maybe we might see Joseph Kasongo come on and replace him and add on to that three attack that Mighty is playing. Mm. Certainly, we love what you're saying on Twitter as it is at the moment. It's hashtag SSBaller. Keep telling us what your thoughts are regarding this uh, particular game. But the second 45 minutes, obviously, they're just looming around the corner. What's the talk in the dressing room, especially for Mighty Mufleda Wanderers? I mean, they need to win. They're, they're, they're telling themselves, look, they are a man down. We should capitalize. Yes, for Mighty Mufleda Wanderers, they're sitting bottom of the log. They're fresh off a victory, but Power Dynamos has lost to them in the last two years. So for them, they do know this is a team they can beat. There are a couple of new players in the setup for Mighty, but a victory against Power Dynamos will certainly be a boost for them. So they are looking to actually go out and get three Marco, points. Marco, every team sets out when, this, when Power left Kitwe, they told themselves we're going for three points. Things have changed. Do you think that their strategy has changed equally? Yes, it has. And of course, it doesn't help when you're playing a team that you've lost to consecutively. So for Power Dynamos, I think they, they, they did try to approach this, this particular game cautiously. And now that they are man down, a lot of their strategies have been thrown out of the window, had to rethink that coach Dan Kawe. So for them, I don't think they'll be very comfortable in the second half. They might just want to hope up to walk away with a draw from this game. What, what kind of result do you think this game will provide for us here? Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a victory because my team Fleer Wanderers are actually pushing the envelope now. They look like they're going out for the victory. Power Dynamos, I honestly think they might not nick it. They could have stood a chance if it was 11 against 11, but with the odds stacked against them right now, I think it's looking more like a mighty victory. A mighty victory? Yes. You're very certain about that? Well, it's looking more like that. Um, looking more like that. Oh, there you have it. We have to excuse Marco, uh, you know, to actually head back into commentary position. Obviously, it's, it's one of those games that you still think that a goal is coming. Yes, it does look like a goal has itself written somewhere around this particular game. Well, the first of 45 minutes have provided what we could have tamed uh, in a fair share of chances you know, from both sides, but nothing yet to show it in as far as the goals are concerned. And certainly the fans are looking for nothing but goals here. For my team of Florida Wanderers, they're coming off the dressing room thinking, look, we can do better, we can get the goals. And certainly they all have to believe in themselves, especially that they're coming off a victory in, the, in a midweek fixture against Nkwazi. But let's leave to that. Uh, let's see what the first of 45 minutes will offer in this particular encounter. Join us, our commentator. Just Matimba and Marco.
Wanderers had power in the M10 Fans Super League round eight. And at halftime, it is Wanderers new and Dynamo's new. Welcome back. Welcome to it. And of course, we're coming to you live from the Shinda Stadium in Mufurira, Copper Belt Province. So before the resumption of this match, uh, at halftime, we saw that the assistant coach, Yusuf, uh, the goalkeeper coach for Power Dynamo's, uh, just taken uh, through Godfringwenya in terms of some warm-up. And uh, it's an indication that uh, Wanderers will be making their second change. Remember, they earlier on uh, brought in Benson Sakala for Julius Stumbeko. So an attacking midfielder. But before that, uh, a change will have to be made because uh, Godfrey Nguenya now is coming in as uh, the second change for Power Dynamos. He comes in the place of the captain, Kenneth Mudenda. So the captain's amber now given to Fuayo Tembo. And an attacking uh, midfielder in for the left winger, Kennedy Mudenda. So grab the front row seat so you don't miss a thing here. Because I tell you what, if we have to judge uh, the performance that has been presented to us in the first half, then I'll tell you what, we're in for an exciting game on the world of champions super sport. Remember, feel free to talk to us. Hashtag SS Border, even as the two teams lineups are scrolling down on your screen. Wonder has yet to make a change thus far. And uh, for Power Dynamos, of course, uh, playing one man list uh, for the red card uh, given to Billy Mutale. And they've made two changes, taking off Julius Tumbeko for Benson Sakala, Godfrey Nguenya in for Kennedy Mudenda. So Makondo joins me from pitch side where I was having a chat with Jason Q. Dube. And uh, it's a hot out there, 29 degrees centigrade, but the game has to go on. But even before I get your reaction now, chance for Wanderers with Gili Manziva. Brings it inside, finds some support. I wonder why Wanderers, for instance, cannot shoot even from such position, just near the box there. Lenga, Ilunga. To the right, Joseph Kanema. Gets the better of McDuff, rather, uh, Rodens Chungu. Usaba. Chance now for Wanderers, cross comes through, and we've got a corner. Well, brilliant covering there from Lawrence Chungu, who had earlier been beaten by Joseph Kanema. But, I mean, he did speak about mighty player Wanderers. They should be taking their chances. And, well, they are interesting, interesting run there from Wayne Musela. And, uh, well, putting his body on the line there, Lawrence Chungu, for the yellow of power the animals. Corner taken. Only for it was both. At the near post, it hits the side netting from uh, Joseph Kanema. And the ball bubbled around there, and Ilunga did provide that cross from the corner. And, uh, well, somewhat, somewhat on an attempt from Beston Chengo, and uh, nothing came of it, and even Joseph Kanema's attempted shot on goal did not trouble neither the goalkeeper nor the defenders. She were clears for power. Museva. Ilunga Lenga. to get Chengo. Does well now. Manziva gets the better of uh, the defense of uh, Power Dynamos and uh, Sakala was beaten there. So second corner in succession. Pressure on Power. Well, Julie Manziva there. Lying it up and going up against Benson Sakala there and getting the inside of him. Benson Sakala missing the, the channel. And no, Benson Sakala actually coming to the rescue of Power Dynamos. Manziva takes a short one. Now, Walia, Larry. Just to get some support. There are no yellow shirts up front. Who we'll delay a bit. Gets in the form of uh, Jimmy Ndlovu. Too slow was uh, Govenda Simoromo's losing out on possession. Now, new captain, Kwayo Tembo. Walia. Ndlovu. Tembo. Just now for Port Dynamos. And a good save by Joshua Manyongo. Surely. You can see the disappointment by Jimin Lovu. Surely the 25-year-old striker should have made a count here for power. Well, brilliant interplay there from the two attackers there. Kwayo Tembo laying the ball out for Jimin Lovu. First touch, brilliant. Second touch, could have put in a lot more power so that he could go past Christine Chisora. But the goalkeeper there covered his lines very well and a brilliant save from Christine Chisora there. But Jimin Lovu, that position, 
without any pressure on him, they've actually expected him to score. Now, on the other side, the pressure. As uh, Malama Chisopa had uh, overlapped. But one clever play by the man on your screen, uh, Boyo Tembo. So, Napsa Stars at halftime leading Austin Banda's goal separately in these two sides. Clement Mundia scoring for City of Lusaka. Kalinson now the Buffalo's lead. Scoreless between Blades and uh, Dynamos. Nakambala also with Warriors scoreless. Tuni Unkana lead. Walter Wally and Diego Apane on the score sheet for the Ava Reds. Cross comes through Chiwe. And again, Chiwe is not very convincing sometimes when he comes out to pick up those uh, aerial crosses that come through. Of course, uh, there was a challenge that came through in this case. Well, there, Joseph Kanema providing that particular cross for Rahim Osmanu. And again, there, Alan Chiwe not coming out with that great command of his 18 yard box. And Rahim Osmanu had every right to go up for that particular ball. Going up for it legally, in my opinion, his hands were down. He just brought them out for balance. But, well, apparently, it was a foul committed on Alan Chiwe. But again, I think they have seen the mighty Priya Wanderers players that. Alan Chiwe is not particularly commanding his 18-yard box very well. So they want to float in those particular balls because just earlier I did speak about how Chisopa Malama had overlapped for it. 18 fouls committed and Wanderers with eight. Of course, with one red card that saw Bidi Mutale straight red. <laughs> What yeah. Oh, Danka, we're a student of, uh, such a student in, the, in England where he studied for his uh, badges. Uh, good job he's doing. And at some point was attached to Arsenal under the direct supervision of Mr. Wenger. Seeing how it's done there. A gentleman of all season, Danka. Yeah, loves to play an open style of football. And I think. It has been reflected with a couple of games that Power Dynamos have played in this particular season. Boyd Mulenga for Wanderers. Manziva. Ilungalenga to Manziva now. Hoping to cut inside. Cross comes through at the far post. No one to finish it. The crosses have been disappointed for Wanderers. Uh, not pinpoint when they hope to bring them in in that uh, fashion. Chisopa. Lenga. Whips in one. Chiwe had committed himself to come out. Pressure there. Goalkeeper couldn't hold it. Yeah. And again, this one going against Wanderers. Well, another case of butterfingers there from Alan Chiwe. But, well, he was fouled in the process. But it's getting closer and closer because one of these, once he drops it, I mean, it was a header played back into play. And Alan Chiwe did come for it. And Benson Chengo was there with, with Benson Sakala making an attempt on that particular ball. Alan Chiwe, again, trying to hold that particular ball and I think the easier option would have been for him to actually punch it out of his 18-yard box. to leave it for him in terms of making cut to the ball. Kanema. Chisopa. Switches play comfortably. Excellent to the left. Finds Jiri Manziva. Now Manziva versus Simuala. Corner. Good anticipation there from Simuala to throw out that particular attempt at the cross from Julie Manson. So Manziba will get the result and corner himself. Side and no one connecting there, including uh, Changala Simutenda. Now Jimmy Love with a lot of pressure on him. He has to make up for that uh, missed chance. That was glorious opportunity that was presented to him now for your tempo. Ways to get some support. Good dummy. Gets a better of Boyd Mulenga. Whips in one. And uh, Chisopa there. A bit of miscommunication. Almost resulted to a mistake uh, as uh, Rahim Osmano had dropped down also to help out in defending. Well, it shows you how at animals. They will help. They will wait for support there. Jimmy Njobu, brilliant hold up play in the middle of the park. There is Crispin Chisopa. Goes to the ground, seems to have picked up and knocked someone when he was picking out that particular cross from Fire Tembo. But Power Dynamos, they're not going to sit back in this particular match. And that was a very, very dangerous cross that Fire Tembo had actually caught it in because Jimmy Njobo was lurking at the far post.
no, a tender looks like you want to be substituted. Come on, Mark! Wait, that one will kill you. I pass over the message, then you drop again. Kill Kanema. Come on, Mark! Come on, Mark! It's amazing. Um, he was head coach at uh, Green Eagles, Time. head coach Time. at but Green Buffaloes. Start going straight. No, start going so that you open the way for number three to come. Moi, then to care, you move with that way. That's another job. Yeah, so that Raim, Raim, Manziba, and Kanema. Okay. So that when we win the ball, we just bump. Okay. So a bit of consultation also there between Danica and his uh, first assistant, uh, Anderson Pee. Speaking of which, Pee is a former Wanderers player, and uh, what a great seasons or uh, seasons he had at uh, this uh, Shinde Stadium. Of course, he's got a lot of memories to share. Well, of course, Anderson Pee was actually head coach at some point for Power Dynamos before becoming assistant. So he was assistant, then made head coach for a bit, and then when Dan Kawe came in, back to assistant. So she were receiving some uh, treatment. The former Zanako goalkeeper is also one of those goalkeepers uh, in the Chipolopolo setup. But for Benson Sakala, since his introduction, it's been a busy day for him. The 23 year old uh, Power Dynamo's midfielder. So good game so far by this much official Wisdom Chewe. And he seems to be improving and with every game that is officiating uh, Chewe. Speed of fair play, Hardy boy just taking it to the Wanderers area, and Wanderers can start from that situation. So, take 10 minutes in the second half, and of course, we love to hear from you. Hashtag SS Bowler, that's how we keep the conversation going on the world of champions super sport. Tell us about how you feel about this afternoon's game, and also generally the other games that have been played dotted around the country in the FTN Fans Super League. Chisowa. Go kick. Mwenya. Wayne Musaba. And uh, Chungu. Fleming Inos is there, but uh, Kanema, maybe we just need a bit of treatment there. Well, a late boot coming through there from Lawrence Chungu and catching, clipping the ankle there of. Joseph Kanema and, uh, well, Kanema expressing himself uh, to Lawrence Chungu. Good to see that Lawrence Chungu was apologetic. Some of those can actually lead to niggling injuries. Of course, earlier on, we're talking about Anderson Pee, who was part of the 1995 and 96 Mighty Squad. Uh, this one comes through and uh, leaving nothing to chance. Godfrey Nguenya just taking it out. Of course, Nguenya made his debut for the senior national team in a friendly against Zimbabwe. That was played at the David Manasseh Stadium. When the uh, Zambian team was coached by Evre now. Oh, attack is on, and uh, one power down was cleared down. And we're gonna have a booking this afternoon. The first one for Wanderers, and it is Ilunga Lenga. As a very wisdom chair, we had given advantage, hoping that uh, play would continue in terms of being uh, an advantage. So we can confirm Ilunga Lenga becomes the first yellow player to be yellow carded this afternoon. Because we saw a red card earlier on. That uh, was presented to Billy Mutale. Well, Larry, while you're there playing the ball out of defense there, Benson Chengo tried to chase it down, and Ilunga Lenga there actually impeding the progress of Larry Walia. Quite a cynical foul there, and rightfully, referee Wisdom Chair did punish that. And that was quite a bad foul there because, well, had it been an inch lower, Larry Walia's knee could have actually been seriously hurt in that particular effort. But it's good to see that the player stays on the field of play, and uh, oh, Ilunga Lenga getting the first yellow of this particular match. So Laliwa is back, the former Nchanga Rangers uh, player. Sakala, Benson. Munene, just taking it out there. Chengo, to the right. They'll find Wendy Musaba. Kanema, Chengo. It's not anticipated to find uh, Fuyo Tembo in that position. So, possession taken over by power. Glovu. He 
So, Freer Wanderers' next game is at home. They host Butecon in their 10 games that will be played on uh, June 3. Well, Boyd Molenga, they are going into that particular challenge and uh, winning the boy illegally with his arm. And, uh, well, for Power Dynamos, they have that treacherous trip to the sweet town of Mazabuka as they'll be taking on Nakabara Leopards. Lenga. White Monambamba. Saba. Chengo. I think for their own, for their dominance, uh, Shudi, Wanderers need to make it count with a goal. Because dominance alone in terms of uh, retaining possession and holding on to the ball does not count for anything. Especially in this case where the, uh, in the doldrums of uh, the Zambian Super League, they're actually lifting the whole teams being on position 20. Offside against Manziva. So, Gary Kafwembe, simulating what his older brother does do, Collins. This man uh, had a chance, uh, Jimin Lovu, the former Red Arrow striker, to have put uh, power in the lead. Just placing it at the far right, but again, you might give credit to Crispy Chisoa, who showed a lot of agility in terms of uh, reaction to that situation. Jimin Lovu, Belek, throwing. But then again, it's moments like those which Jimmy Global had that you get to rule as a team if this particular game does not go their way. So, Govenda Simonana with the throwing for Power Dynamos. Gwenya was holding on uh, to the ball, was hoping to get some support in form of Govenda Simona. Chisopa hoping to clear. He's still kept in touch. Second bite on the cherry by Chisopa Malama. Rahim Osmanu. Lenga clears. Why to Manamamba? Takes it back to his goalkeeper, Alan Chiwe. Boyd. Chengo with an extension to the right. Weni Musaba collects. Whips in one. Suddenly becoming and looking more like ping pong. Tembo, Fuayo. Good play by the power captain. Manages to unfree himself from the maze of uh, the green shirts being uh, power dynamos. Rather wondrous players. And so, got a book in Benson Chengo into the referee's book. He becomes the second player from Wondrous to be booked after Ilunga Lenga. So, confirmation of the yellow card, Chengo. Being given a caution there. Well, Fire Tembo there did actually ride a couple of challenges there, and that was a late one, particularly from Benson Chengo. And uh, well, the referee just judging it as uh, cynical fouls from Lira Wanderers to stop them. Chongo oh, floats one in the box. Musonda. Brother Mulenga Boyd defends very well. Raimo Osmanu has been helping out in terms of defensive duties very well. Now, this is Jimmy Lovu. Larry. Well, one thing that I've not seen so far in this second half is uh, in terms of uh, cohesion, in terms of, uh, in terms of passing the ball around among these two teams. So many breakdowns we're seeing thus far in this second stanza. Fire. Good play now. Nguenya has got a chance here, but it's come to a difficult right foot. We do know that he's a natural left-footed player, so he had to Somewhat bring it to the left. Simwala whips in one. Tembo, not one of those top players in this uh, power dynamo side. Now, another attempt, and this will go for a corner. Well, Larry Walia may be guilty of not taking that first time, but uh, opting to try and get a better angle and cut that ball back in for the likes of Jimmy Njovu and Fire Tembo, who are lurking in the 18-yard box. But, oh, looks like Seba there did get an elbow to his throat and trying to catch his breath. Well, a few moments ago, so, uh, we saw Anderson Pree just expressing, even if he presented with 11 corners that should have been brought in and in terms of the cross. And we do know that, uh, well, he was a good winger himself during his playing days in the part of the mighty squad in 1995-96. So, 
First change for Wanderers, they are bringing in the number nine, Joseph Kasongo, taking up the place of uh, Changala Simutenda as uh, the first change this afternoon for Wanderers. Kasongo, part of that uh, team that uh, brought the team, I mean, this uh, legendary side into the Super League alongside the Alan Kamonga Juniors. Corner comes through and uh, Chris Pichisoa collects. Course, Joseph Kasongo will supplement in attack there. So, joining up with Benson Chengo and uh, Rahim Osmanu, looks like Mighty Player Wanderers are clearly making a statement here, throwing on all their attacking chips at this particular point. Chisopa, Malama, Kasongo, very disappointing first touch contribution. This is introduction for Changala Simutenda, Chengo. Brother Wenim Saba, they're spawning the same hairstyle with uh, Benson Chengo. Wenim Saba, Fuayo Tembo. Long clearance at the bank from Ilunga Lenga. Oh, mistake by Mwanamwamba. That head was not very convincing. Benson Sakala will just want to clear the ball out of that area. So, White Mwanamwamba also had a stint with uh, Changa Rangers. Chisopa, Malama. He's got one on Mark play on the left now. Kasongo holding the ball very well. Hoping to shoot Benz. And this one goes wide. Not oh. a bad effort from the former Cabo Warriors player. It was a brilliant, brilliant layoff there from Kasongo Joseph there to the own rushing. Ah, but then, well, the shot there been blazed wide there by Benson Chengo. But interesting. And I mean, Kasongo does that hold up play very well. And I'm sure a couple of chances will come their way, Mighty Flea Wanderers as a result of actually taking a little more time to take that shot on goal. A bit of a confusion there from Lawrence Chungo on where to take the, the free kick from exactly. But uh, finally it's taken. And is playing a very interest, interesting position so far and uh, certainly helps in this wondrous side uh, every coach has got his own uh, tactical formation but in this uh, it's looking like straight from the test book of Wilson Mwale he's helping out so much in terms of defending that uh, somewhat picking up the bits and pieces doing the dirty work also in the middle of the park looks like he's been given more of a free role to actually roam the pitch in this particular half Break is on by Kasongo, and uh, nothing given there by referee Wisdom Chewe. Kasongo going in very hard there. Chewe just going to check on the injured uh, Kasongo. Well, it was a clearance from the back there by Chimunya Munene, and uh, initially, Lawrence Chungo had misjudged. Actually, Mwanamamba had misjudged the bounce of that particular ball, and the cover tackle came through from Benson Sakala, and he got to the ball first, and, uh, well, yes, he did make some contact with Joseph Kasongo, but the tackle looked clean from this particular angle, and uh, Benson Sakala winning all ball in that particular challenge, and uh, referee Wisdom Chewe rightfully calling that particular one. Mighty there, just being a good sport and uh, playing it fair, playing it back to Power Dynamos. Wanderers hoping to clear. Benson uh, Sakala with a strong header. On the right again, uh, Julie Manzi has changed roles with uh, Kanema. Kanema now on the left. Ilunga Lenga, Osmanu. They're switching fronts very well, this uh, Wanderer side. And uh, many a times, I'll just give an example of uh, Zamshu then under the tutelage of the late John's Chilengi when Shai Kumwendo changed roles. Boyotembo 
Wow, gets the better of uh, the captain. It was a captain versus captain. But uh, for your tempo, it's not an easy customer to do with. No, very, very composed as he goes about his trickery. Yeah, there, Chisaba Malama, being the latest victim. As uh, for your tempo attempts another well, nutmeg on uh, the young Musewa there. Chungu, Mwalia. This place fans was hoping to get the captain. Uh, So this uh, far down the side, you see the likes of uh, Benny, Benny, where they are looking for a captain, New York. Hey, look at that snap bola. You see the likes of Kasonde. I'm not forgetting uh, Mubanga. I'm talking about far down was. Well, good news is that. Uh, even as we talk about the good news, it's certainly not good news for far Dynamos. There was pressure coming in from that cross. Oh, Gwenya Dick, uh, brother Godfrey Gwenya, uh, his father is the late Dick Gwenya, who was a coach for Cabo Warriors. At the time of his death, he was an assistant coach at uh, Naps Stars. Lali Warrior. Jimmy Ndlovu. Jida is playing. As there were too many green shirts. Wanderers will win this one now. Wait, Molinda, they are caught by Fire Tembo. And, uh, well, Power Dynamos are doing themselves proud, actually, because in this particular half, they have not sat back and taken the pressure that Mighty Player Wanderers has thrown to them. So it's been quite an open game. And you wouldn't and be. Ziva cuts inside. And. Well, Yellow card oh, for simulation there. So, Manzi went to the referee's book. They're collecting too many yellow cards. This uh, wondrous sign, maybe signs of desperation. Three yellow cards have been presented thus far. Well, there, Julie Manzi, uh, White Manamwamba did initially look to extend his foot, but pulled it back after Julie Manzi had beaten Lawrence Chungu. And, uh, well, Julie Manzi, a very lame attempt there at conning the referee into giving. A penalty there after he had cut in on Lawrence Chungu, and no particular contact even came by way of Bright Manamamba. So, rightfully carded there, Julie Manziba, and being the third player from Mighty Player Wonders to actually pick up a yellow card in this particular game. Chungu. The fans have been stabbed of a goal here from either side. Frustration by Kasongo. So we're slowly approaching the last uh, 18 minutes of this match. And for power, they'll be very happy to get a point from this situation, looking at the red card that was uh, given to them in the opening uh, half of this match. Simuala brings in one, and uh, so far an outstanding So obviously not allow that one to, to be go through. When Musaba, first so uh, look alike uh, of uh, the former city of Lusaka, Kana, and uh, defender Kombe was a left back, and he's playing this the last four seasons or so. I saw him last year. I when we came for the broadcast of matches around here in Korea. Well, quite a miss there by Lunga Lenga, but Godfrey Nguenya uh, did actually impede him from recovering and getting to that ball in that process, getting a foul. So I don't think Mighty would be particularly disappointed if they do not get the all three points today. Uh, they would love to, but I think it, it shows that they're actually gaining some form with regard to the season progressing. Kanema. Goalkeepers come out. 
decisive punch and parrying of the ball there by Alan Chiwe. Second time around. Managed to control it with uh, Govenda Simuala. Now they can break with uh, Lali Walia. They always have to wait uh, power dynamos because uh, they do not have so many numbers. In terms of players being committed up front, it's expected when you're playing one man down. for the back pass and uh, she saw her collect. She saw pa, Malama for Wanderers. Hoping to get uh, Kanema. Decisive intervention coming through from uh, Govenda Simwala. Out of sight uh, in the meantime, so against Kanema. Well, it looks like my team might actually be pushing themselves, the players, on the pitch. Despite the coach demanding otherwise. Looks like they're pushing themselves into a slight panic. And at some point, Jesse Chinama was urging their captain, Malomach Sapa, who floated that particular ball. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. hold on to mm -hmm. Lenga. Break is on with Julie Manziva. Brings in one now, and uh, what a decisive chance uh, there from uh, Govenda Simuala. As uh, Kanem was waiting for that cross to come through. Simuala. So for your tempo. As part of the national team setup, uh, he was the top scorer at the Africa Youth Championship. Go with it. 2007, when he finished on five goals, the five goals that he currently has scored in the MTN France Super League thus far. That year, that uh, Zambia qualified for the second time in terms of uh, the Under 20 World Cup, where they played against the likes of Uruguay with uh, Edson Cavani in their squad. Now back to action. This is the player we're talking about. Tembo gets a bit of Lenga. Cross comes through. Chance now for Power Dynamos, but too much. Two players were anticipated to connect that one, and so one Ross can build up from that. Well, both players actually going for the same option, the near post option, and I think Fayo did float it to the far post, so had one of them decided to just hold his run a little. Malamach Sopa there looking to take a shot, and again being wasteful. And I wonder what coach Justin Chinama has to say to his particular captain today. He's asked him to be more resourceful and more efficient with the ball, but Malamach Sopa doing the exact opposite oh power dynamos have always struggled when they come here at the shinde stadium it's gonna, it's gonna out for a throw in the last time that power dynamos beat uh, Furia Wanderers at this venue was uh, in 2005. And that game was uh, played uh, on July 17. It was a round 20 game. It ended in Furia Wanderers 1 and Power Dynamos 2. John Banda scored for Wanderers in the 56th minute and Power Dynamos 2 goals were scored by Lamek Mwale in the 15th minute and Isaac Lungu Mozegeta in the 38th minute. And of course, Lungu also played for Chilanga Heroes, they had moved together to this team with uh, now clever play by Tembo Fuayo. Govenda hoping to get some support, but uh, good cover coming through from Boyd Mulenga. I was talking about uh, Lungu having moved to Power Dynamos alongside uh, Dennis Chimena and uh, Luca Choa Lungu is on the substance bench. Now Osmanu shoots, takes a bit of a blockade there, but still Osmanu, he's got uh, Manziba calling for the ball there. When Musaba, 12 minutes before the end of this match. It's about uh, Power Dynamos holding their own suddenly here. Chess control is good by from Jimmy Lovu. Nguenya. 
good intervention coming through from uh, Laliboy because uh, Manziba was closer to that action there. Glovu. Simuala. Kashitu. Pumps one forward. Kashitu. Happy to see Ngwenya to do the chase. I was talking about Ngwenya who was voted uh, in 2012, was voted the best uh, player in the Airtel Rising Stars uh, competition. And uh, then coach Hevrena summoned him to the national team. He was introduced as a second half substitute in that game that was played late in the evening on Wednesday against Zimbabwe, midweek fixture it was, for the youngster Godfrey Ngwenya. Of course, Ngwenya playing his first season at Power Diana was making the big switch from uh, Cabo Warriors. Simuala. Bouncing ball. Difficult one for Fuayo Tembo. And he did have quite an interesting outing in Cabo Warriors. I mean, joined them in 2013 and was there till post 2016. I think that really. Ah, uh, Osmanu. Chance now for Wanderers. Kanema. Straight into the traffic of uh, yellow shirts. Now, Musaba. Badly done by the youngster. Glovo. Oh, you have to wait to play to the whistle, Glovo. Lenga. That's what well. I was hoping to get uh, Julie Manziva. Again, Chengo. To Lenga. When you're coming out to defend. Cross comes through. Difficult ball. Benson Sakala and uh, Victor Kashitu allow it to bounce there. Was bubbling around that area. Oh, oh boy, Olenga will take it back to his goalkeeper. Manziva, nine minutes counting down here. Kasongo shoots and uh, surely looks like more of a training session. You, you can't beat you from such a position and in such a shot. Well, quite a tame effort from the left foot of Joseph Kasongo. Did actually look more like a cross into the 18 yard box than a shot that would trouble the power dynamo's stopper. So the curtain's slowly closing down here at the Shinde Stadium. But to their credit, uh, Power Dynamo's uh, playing one man less. They've done very well up to this stage. Chengo. Mulenga. Weni Musaba. Goalkeepers come out. Look at how fast that she was hoping to come and collect that one. Well, Jim seems Joseph Katongo. Not an agreement. So, of course, tomorrow the World of Champions will bring you a double header production from the Levy Monansa Stadium in Indola. 12.45 Central African time. It will be Green Eagles uh, who take on, uh, who make the trip. Uh, in fact, it's Butecon versus Green Eagles at 12.45. And then uh, at 14.55 hours at the same venue in Dollar. It will be a big one for this uh, round of games as uh, Zesco United will be hosting Zanako. The two teams that are representing Zambia in continental Cup competition being uh, Zesco United in the Total Cup Confederation Cup and Zanako in the Total Cup Champions League. Mm -hmm. 
So Pomodiana was making their third and final change and they're uh, bringing off uh, Jimin Lovu, the former Kana Football Club striker, as the third and final change and his place taken by Lyson Sikaonga. As a uh, midfielder being introduced there. Chengo, Osmanu. Oh, it's amazing. It's round uh, nine, getting to ten of matches, and uh, some of those basics in terms of uh, you understand when it's the rustiness in the opening exchanges of uh, the season. But uh, I feel that maybe this time around things will come out right. So Austin Banda's goal still naps a lead one new against Forest Rangers. I can imagine the likes of Perry Mutap, who's former uh, naps a player. One more between Buffalo and City. Clement Mundia scoring for City. Scoreless there at Dynamo's match. And so is Nakambala and Warriors. Nakonda have put one back, and it's now Nakonde one, Kana three. Looking like a comfortable outing for Kana out there in the city of Nakonde. So Wanderers making their second change. They're bringing in Fumba Nimuowo. And out goes uh, Joseph Kasongo now. This is an interesting one because Kasongo, Marco did come in for Changala Simtenda and now he's been withdrawn. An in-out situation in this case. Well, and Joseph Kasongo has barely played 20 minutes because he came on in the 64th minute. And, uh, well, 21 minutes later, he's been substituted. And I don't think he actually be carrying an injury it could have been an injury induced constitution but very interesting from the technical bench of mighty player one was there yeah, commentary position uh, you think it's the right change i know that fumban is an attacking player well unless joseph katongo is carrying an injury which we're not aware of but i honestly think I mean, yes he did pick up a yellow for simulation but it was it's, it's quite a, an interesting substitution and maybe fumbani will offer something else for mighty player now sikaonga Hoping to spread that pass, thread it to the far right where boy was calling for it. Now Skaonga gets the better and uh, combined effort. They still keep it in play. Chimunya Munene. Simuala. Second attack by Power Dynamos. Mwenya now. And uh, free kick in a decent position. And maybe a chance for. Power Dynamos to get something from here. And uh, you feel for Ilungalenga, he has already got a yellow card. Should he be flashed with the second one? Then it means you'll see red. So Chewe, just having a word uh, with Lenga there. Well, Ilunga there, bitten for pace by Godfrey Nguenya and, uh, well, taking out Godfrey Nguenya as he took his feet from below him and a uh, bit of a clip of the ankles there by Ilungalenga and, well, a strong talking to by the referee but again there Godfrey Wenya was getting himself into a very interesting position from which he could have whipped a ball across the 18 yard box for mighty player wonders wow 31 fouls committed and the uh, three yellow cards uh, Ilungalenga Benchengo and uh, Jiri Manziba all the being the recipients all from Wanderers. So chance for power maybe to win it this late and uh, it's Govenda Simuala lining up to get this one. Two man human war put up Ilungalenga and Raim Osman in there but there's so much movement and pulling the likes of Benson Chengo versus Boyd Mulenga. Because right in front of uh, Benson is uh, Captain Chisopa. Uh, they take it inside. Goalkeeper it's a slight touch to the ball throwing power dynamos. Crispin so uh, quite uncertain in that particular Govenda Simuala free kick and uh, could have easily plucked it because there was no pressure coming through. But then from that particular bad piece of goalkeeping, he actually keeps power dynamos in his half with uh, unnecessary pressure on my team. Chungu with the throw in. Of course, Chungu's last call to the national team uh, 
in November 2011, as Zambia was preparing for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations. Hebrena was part of the team. A yellow card again given to Sikaonga. It's the first one for Poma Dynamo. Sikaonga will have to keep it calm. So it's the first yellow card confirmation. Sikaonga becomes the first player from Power Dynamos to be booked. I was earlier on talking about uh, Chungu, whose story will continue after this. Uh, well, when this Musela there was marking Lyson Sikaonga, and he went to the ground a little too easily there. Lyson Sikaonga trying to win a penalty, I think, and, uh, well, trying to trick the referee, but referee is Cherry having nothing on that. Well, Sikaonga has also played for Ron United, who during the week made uh, changes to the coaching personnel. Former international Hirari Makasa was an assistant coach, has now been, uh, or rather was the head coach, has now taken up the position as assistant coach. And Paul Mulenga, who's been on around the Ron United setup in the last 20 years or so, according to my calculation, now in charge as head coach. Always interesting when teams do that, assistant to head coach, head coach to assistant. And, uh, well, license Kaunga did have a very fruitful campaign for Ron United last particular season. So three minutes of additional time is what we're playing here on the World of Champions Super Sports. Scoreless between Wanderers and Dynamos. But it's uh, Wanderers maybe who feel they've got something here. Whether they'll be allowed by Power Dynamos, we'll wait and see. The next three minutes will certainly decide. For your tempo, for legs. Handball. So last in the, in the, in the League One, Lyson Skaunga did score 24 goals last season. So he is quite a proven goal scorer. Stanley are still leading Forest Rangers 1-0. Austin Banda, the goal scorer. It's now Green Buffaloes that have once more taken the lead. 2-1 against City of Lusaka. Scoreless between Blades and Lusaka. Dana was in Chidabomba and so is Leopards and Warriors nil. Nakonde Ryu 1 and Inkana 3. The three goals by Inkana scored by Diego Apanane, Walter Boadia and Simon Boadia. I think what's been interesting about this particular half is that just at the stroke of halftime, Coach Danka we did make that substitution, bringing in, of course, Godfrey Nguyen. Oh, good cover coming through from uh, the back uh, from uh, White Manama. But earlier on, I was talking about Oris Chungu that uh, in November 2011, when uh, Hev had uh, called him to the national team, he was part of that uh, Zambian squad that played select signs from Goa in India. And of course, uh, Rolis Chung was uh, recently dropped by, before the Nigeria game, he was caught by Wetson Nyerenda. He went to Zimbabwe for that friendly, where he picked up a friend, I mean an injury. And uh, Wetson Nyerenda then picked uh, Faxon Kapumbu ahead of uh, Chungu for the Nigeria match. Well, Alan Chiwe there looking to be in some discomfort as he clutches his knee in the back of it. And uh, well, his attempt to take a goal kick actually. Uh, actually could be something he's carrying because his thigh looks very heavily strapped and he goes shorts he's wearing so could be a hamstring problem that he came in with but well, looks like he'll continue to play oh, and of course green buffaloes is leading city of lusaka 2-1 jack chidwa with his uh, first goal in this uh, 2017 campaign he's coming back uh, from angola where he was attending some trials with uh, girabona sides in that country speaking of which uh, Ricotivo de Libola will be in the country next weekend. To be more precise, on Sunday, they play against Zesco United at the Levi Monasa Stadium. That game also live on the World of Champions Super Sport. Let's go also scored by Friday Sam. So we're done here, Marco. Well, we were expecting a scoring draw at least, or maybe a victory for my team, Fulero Andres. But uh, I think either side will walk out with their heads held high, considering they've both gotten a point from this game. All right, and of course, uh, the likes of Raim Osmanu feeling uh, a point at least away from home, not a bad, uh, rather at home. Good enough as Mighty continue in the 
recovery process. Remember, they started very badly, and so plus this is a good result for the mighty Faithfuls. Although for Power Dynamos, uh, credit should go to them because they really held on their own, and the likes of Julie Manziva and uh, Chungu know each other very well because uh, Chungu obviously on the books of Power Dynamos, Manziva on the red side. So. After all is said and done here on the World of Champions, it has ended. Mfria Wanderers new, Power Dynamo's new. Join us next time on the World of Champions Super Sport. 90 minutes of football played out here at the Shinde Stadium in Mufulira. It is a barren draw uh, between uh, these uh, two sides. Mighty Mufulira Wanderers obviously playing at home against uh, you know, powerful power dynamos. Let's get you here from the head coach for uh, this uh, Mighty Mufulira Wanderers side. Uh, coach, it's 90 minutes of football played out here at home it's scoreless yeah i think i'm very proud of my I'm very proud of my boys i think we we planned for this we knew power is a good side you know you you know where we are coming from so at least it has given us one point then we are moving in terms of your tactical plan coach did it work out for you yeah i think i think it did because we we we, we know power is a it's, it's a passing team so we have to we have to we have to close the midfield so that we have forced them to play long balls and and that worked for us Coach, at halftime, Power Dynamos was a man down. What was your instruction in the dressing room? It's always difficult to play with a team with one man down because everybody is, is up. As I said, I think a draw for us is a very good result. Share with me, Coach. It seems that uh, slowly the team is picking up uh, you know, momentum uh, in terms of the way they are performing. Uh, what's been the secret? Hard work, hard work. I told you we, we, we have to close the back. I think, I, th I think now we have, we have done. But we still have to work hard and start scoring goals. Otherwise, for me, as I said, I'm very proud of my boys and uh, looking forward to the next game. Thanks, coach. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Jason. Welcome. There you have it. That's the coach there for my, uh, for my team of Fido Wanderers and uh, Wilson Mwale just sharing his thoughts regarding how his side has fared this afternoon. Obviously, they played out to a, you know, a goalless draw at home. They were looking forward for the maximum point. Wasn't the case. But let's get to hear from the Power Dynamos coach. Uh, coach, 90 minutes of football here and it's ended goalless. Your thoughts? No, I think we've missed it. We've missed it. We've missed it by just an inch. If Jimmy had scored that one, the story would have been different. Yeah. How much has the red card affected your game plan today, coach? I mean, it's a sudden, sudden, sudden red card. I mean, in a game it happens. Anybody can be shown red card. You can have two, two red cards out of your team. And at least we fought up to the, up to, up to the, up to the end. What was the instruction at halftime, uh, half coach, when you went a man down in the dressing room? What instruction did you give? You seemed to come back a little bit more compact, and we noticed uh, some subs that you made that have proved to be uh, you know, effective. Yeah, 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 exactly. What we did was to close the midfield and then leave two, two, two strikers only. And it worked for us. Yeah. Obviously, coach, this, this gives you a point. Uh, you draw a lot of inspiration. You could be moving a step up in as far as the logs are concerned. Lessons picked up of this game as you look ahead of your next fixture. Yeah, at least we are going away to Nagambala again. It's an away game. At least the point is we've moved. We've moved. I think we're limping. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Coach. I wish you all the best in your next game against Nakambala. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Dove. Yeah. There you have it. That's the man there, Danny Kawe, uh, Power Dynamo's uh, coach, uh, giving us uh, his thoughts regarding how his side has uh, fared this afternoon. But remember that these two sides have uh, shared the spoils here, and it means that they all get a point apiece. And uh, certainly, uh, it is not what uh, Mighty Mufrida Wanderers could have expected, especially that um, you know Power Dynamo's went a man down in the first 45 minutes of this uh, particular game. But yet again, in as far as coverage is concerned on the World of Champions, there's plenty of football to look out for tomorrow. At lunchtime, kick off its Buttecon up against the Green Eagles. Watch out for the build up at 12.45 and much later. It's a big one. Undoubtedly, one of the best league in the fixtures in this round of fixtures, and to be round eight. That's Zesco United up against Zanaco. Kickoff is at 15 hours, and certainly that should provide some exciting football in as far as uh, what it will be able to offer uh, tomorrow. So make a date with us at the Levy Monawasa Stadium as we get to enjoy plenty of uh, Bola Yapa Zeri. It's been exciting here at the Shinde Stadium, despite not providing goals uh, for the fans that made the trip into the Shinde Stadium. But look forward for more goals tomorrow in as far as the uh, uh, Bola Yapa Zeri is uh, concerned. Till then, bye bye for now.
Yes, it's the same team that has been losing. Uh, when we just came in, uh, the first thing we had to do was to stabilize the, the defending. Uh, after stabilizing the defending, we are now looking at uh, the attacking. And uh, we, we started.